Mace Windu is currently moving his clone trooper army through the canyons of Ryloth. Their ATTE convoy is absolutely vital to the Republic's fight on the planet. But the droids are aware of this, and they've moved a small radar fortress in the path of the clone convoy. In addition, they've brought along a multitude of tanks and battle droids to ambush the clone trooper army. If the clones can make it through the canyons of Ryloth, they have a good chance on the planet. However, if they lose Mace's convoy early, it might be over here. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. Engaging with the video in that way just helps me out a lot in the algorithm. Uh, so yeah, I appreciate it, and let's get right on into this thing. Alrighty then, boys, let's go ahead and press start right here as the clones begin getting ambushed by the droid army. And almost immediately, AATs going down on the battlefield. Don't worry, there's plenty more of them. And they're going up against five ATTEs, which every ATTE is worth, I would say, about four AATs. So, fairly even matching here. Of course, the clones do have quite a number of clone troopers, infantry on their side as well, and so do the droids. So, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. ATTEs having a little bit of trouble finding their pathway on the canyon wall here, but that's okay. The real important side of the battle is definitely going to be over here with the clone troopers pushing through the opening this way. Obviously, a number of AATs have fallen right off the bat here, but there's still plenty more left alive. Uh, reloading their main guns to fire, and then they just hit some infantry. I mean, that's effective. It probably got some kills, but you really want to be going for that ATTE there, don't you, buddy? That is the prize kill. All right, and these ATTEs seem to have figured it out a little bit because they are firing past the canyon down towards these AATs over here. The infantry over this way just seems to be ducking under cover. They've taken some losses at this point. They're probably not having too good of a time, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a sketchy situation. Down at the front lines over here, though, the infantry is very spread out. Looks like droid infantry firing at the clones quite a bit now, and this ATTE continues to push forward. It's now starting to get hit by a little bit of bazooka fire as most of the AATs are down that were contesting it and so now it probably will go down to this bazooka fire because none of the clone troopers are taking out those bazooka wielding droids uh, which will be mighty mighty problematic for them there look at this ATTEs over here going down as this is essentially just like a firing squad of AATs firing out at these clone ATTEs that are kind of sitting ducks oh Lots of rockets striking the clone trooper ATTE there, and it ends up going down. The turret is going to fall down below. There's a couple of clones there it could have squashed, but luckily it missed by just a smidge. But those clones are likely going to be stuck down there unless we pull them on up with the anti-derp rule in a while. Although that's not really the AI derping. I think they literally just fell down there and somehow survived the fall, so good for them, but... Still a little bit of a precarious situation. Clone infantry starting to get involved. Lots of explosions striking them as those bazooka troopers really zone in. Uh, looks like there was a command droid right here who has petished. Where is Mace Windu, by the way? Where, where'd Window go? Oh, there's Mace Window. Very nice. All right, and these AATs over here have killed another ATTE. The last one is up against the wall here. It might be in firing range. Uh, this is pretty far. Oh, no. Hey, it just took out another AAT. Let's go. It's also kind of got like shielding from the other ATTEs that are down. So that's nice. Yeah, like the droids are hitting this one instead of getting the shot on the back of this one. So, I mean, that's actually kind of good that that one is somewhat undercover, but it is the last ATTE at this point. Might as well be like the fury of Star Wars. <laughs> All right, the droid fortress begins to get involved here, and this wall is going to open up with E5 blaster rifle fire here. Very nice. Looks like just a very small number of clone troopers pushing forward at this juncture. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's a good camera angle there. Beautiful. Looks way better. Yeah, very small number of clones striking out right now. I'd say there's probably like, what, 200 clones left alive on the battlefield. If you look at the top left minimap, you can see blue are clone troopers. Red are battle droids left alive. I would say, yeah, probably 200 clone troopers remaining. Probably 50 or 60 battle droids remaining. So clones do have numbers in this battlefield. But of course, they're going up against this little radar fortress here, which is going to be very, very difficult to take out as it is literally an uphill battle. Uh, no droids dead over here. There are two E-Web turrets in the front. 
over this way along with some cement blockades uh, and then there is another e-web turret in the back there as well which could definitely rain some fire down on the clones when they come through the choke point couple droids finally starting to go down i'm guessing more than likely from the dc-15x snipers who <laughs> Just got absolutely hammered by rocket shots right there, so they might not be getting any more kills at this point. But the clones, at the very least, are whittling away at the droids. That's all you can really ask. Oh, I, how did you guys survive that? God dang, son. That is super impressive that you guys managed to survive that. <laughs> Y'all are some tanks, aren't you? Holy cow, we got another DC-15X clone right there. That's good to see. But look at this. All these clones back here, they've taken some losses, but they're still fairly strong in force. And they can come forward around here, but right now they're just sort of taking cover at the canyon wall. Yeah, there's Mace Windu, of course, as well. But eventually these guys will get going. All right, and this ATTE seems to just be one by one dropping AATs that are firing back, but again, it's such a range that it's pretty hard for them to hit them. And there's an ATTE blocking the front of this thing, so there's that as well. So these AATs back here are going to slowly get whittled down by that ATTE. Literally just one remaining ATTE causing all of this havoc. There's still all this droid infantry over here though, so they will be alive for uh, the remainder of this thing until clone infantry gets to them because I have a feeling this ATTE is probably stuck there. It could maybe wiggle its way out of this little tight hole, but I don't think so. I think that might be stuck there for the duration, uh, but then... Over here is where the remainder of the battle will stay. Still one AAT left alive. I mean, how many did we even give the droids? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 total AATs. That's kind of crazy versus 5 total ATTEs. Kind of crazy how that worked out. But Clone Trooper Infantry begins the assault again. We got Phase 1 Infantry out here along with a few ARF Troopers as well. And more are coming in. That's good to see. All right, so Mace Windu is sending further reinforcements to the front lines here, which is definitely necessary at this point. <laughs> definitely. This thing, this little radio structure, if anyone plays R6 Siege, it reminds me of the canal map. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, like there's a little structure that kind of looks like this on can I think it's canal. And the structure looks kind of like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy, but <laughs> that's just what I think right there. All right, more clones coming on up. Starting to take some more pot shots. Oh! How did you get over here? Excuse me? Wait, what? Huh? What? What? This is the ATT that was still alive. Did it, like, wall jump? How? Yo, I don't know. Something made these ATTEs freak out. This one is now turtling over here. And and this one ended up over here. Okay. So the ATTEs are basically out of combat at this point because that one just exploded onto the droid side of things. Which is absolutely crazy. But okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> that is bonkers, dude. Alrighty then. More clones continuing the fight up here. They are thinning the droids. I mean, that's a good thing, but uh, the losses that they're taking while also assaulting this fortress is really, really brutal. And there's only one method of assault. There's only one area they can go through, which is over here. And uh, I mean, obviously you could take this thing's route, which is to launch yourself over the walls over here. Something tells me the infantry is probably not going to be able to replicate that or do that again. Yeah. All right, why don't we do a little time lapse of this fortress assault for now? And if any progress gets made, I will stop and we'll check it out. All right, about three minutes have passed there, and it's just been a complete and utter slugfest for the clone troopers. Constant fighting, no real progress being made. They've definitely killed a couple more droids. They are getting farther along. They're at these rocks now. Uh, but I think we are going to enact the anti-derp rule now, which is basically the clones, if they're stalling out stupidly at like a different rock or something, it's really just the AI being stupid and derping. So we're gonna send them to the corner here where 
they're more likely to actually assault versus back here where they're doing absolutely nothing so yeah if you've been on this channel for a while you'll know about the anti-derp rule uh, we do it in the later parts of battles when the ai starts a derpin uh, but i think that's probably good for now and the guys back here might join suit later on but uh yeah now the clones are anti-derped Seems like more of them are coming forward. I mean, these snipers have been able to fire pretty much this whole time because DC 50 next snipers have crazy range. Uh, by the way, this map is created by Rollum, uh, who is one of the few remaining Star Wars Galaxy at War mod uh, map creators. <laughs> Honestly, uh, a lot of map creators for Galaxy of War have quit at this point uh, or dipped, and uh, the two most active, I would say, right now are Ahsoka Tano and Rollum. And so huge shout out to those two. There are still some others who do great work as well, um, but I would say those two are currently upholding the community with new maps. So huge shout out to them. Gotta say thank you. This map in particular, of course, is by Rollum, but just wanted to give a shout out because, <laughs> you know, these videos are not possible without new maps coming out and stuff like that. So huge thank you to them. Oh, really nice rocket shot from a clone trooper up there. It, oh, it's just hitting the wall. I thought it was getting backsplash into the droids which would be huge could take out a ton of them but nah it's just hitting the wall that could have been a huge rocket from the droids but sadly completely whiffs it eweb turret firing away the rest of the droids back here also firing away really really nicely i mean the clones are definitely coming out a bit more in force now that most of their troopers aren't derping however the droids are maintaining their defense that was a really big rocket launcher shot right there whoo that was a little bit of a toughie, huh? Oh my god. Oh, it is a slaughter here for the clones. Oh yeah, just lay down, get to cover, and lay down fire. That's what I would do. Actually, if I were commanding, I would send more troopers down this way. Oh, there's still droids alive over here. Huh. Alright. Maybe what I would do... Well, you've got the Overwatch droids there. I guess you would send clones to this sandbag... Maybe crawl a couple up, grenade these guys. They should be an easy kill. Then get troopers in here. You're going to lose them and lose a lot of them, but you get some constant fire going there. Then you send troopers up to these rocks here, get constant fire going. I would not send anyone down this way because this, is, this would just turn into a death zone with the angles these droids have. But get troopers here, maybe here and here, and just get a slugfest going and hope for the best. I mean, what the clones are doing right now isn't the worst it's definitely a bit of a difficult tactic to gain victory from, but it's certainly possible they have enough troopers to do it. They just need to take out these bazooka troopers is the real threat that they're facing right now. So I'm not super mad at what the clones are doing. It's just definitely not the most effective means. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, but you know what? As long as they're continuing to get kills against these droids, the clones can still do this thing. And oh, that was a really good bazooka shot. I took out an E-Web turret and like four droids, including some bazooka droids. Okay, that's big for the clones right there. That is big for the clones right there. Well done. Okay. I mean, we still got all these clones back here as well. Uh, I'll start sending them over this way in anti-derp formation. Because <laughs> they are just hanging out and doing absolutely nothing, which no normal clone trooper in battle would do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we'll just go ahead and remove them from their current predicament, I guess we could call it, and get them over this way. Um, clones over here are thinning considerably. I don't think that they've got this in the bag uh, without some serious kills going on soon. If they don't get some kills soon, the clone troopers are in some serious trouble. There is something to be said about the fact that the clone troopers have taken out 16 AAT tanks, but if they don't take this radar station, it's not a real victory. Hey, there's another dead droid right there. That's what I like to see there, mate. Get some more clankers killed. That's what we need to see. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, those anti-derp guys are kind of derping around over here now, but uh, we'll leave them be, uh, and hopefully they'll sort it out. Clones are up to the rocks here, which is good. They're getting closer to the battle droids, but still a total slugfest for now. <laughs> no real solution to who is winning. By the way, the comment section lately, boys, has been popping off. Uh, I gotta give shout outs to A, the person who is trying to comment on a, a video of mine every single day for an entire year. Um, 
incredible. He's on like day 11, I think. That's kind of wild. Um, and then also, uh, the person who is keeping track, I think he started in February, but he's been keeping track of all of the clone victories and droid victories for the past year. So shout out to those guys, because it's, it's wild, man. It's absolutely wild. These guys are actually really pushing. Hold on. They've killed the entirety of the exterior defenses here. The interior is still going. There's still guys up on these walls over here. And, of course, there's droids now getting activated over here who were previously too far away to fight, but now they're getting some slug shots in the side. But clones are actually managing to do this. They're actually getting troops forward. This could end up being a clone dub after all. I mean, a few more are dying out here. And there is still an E-Web turret. <laughs> guy just fell really, really sadly. That was kind of pathetic of a fall. I'm not going to lie. All right, those droids over there didn't really stand much of a chance. They're wiped. By the way, there's still more droids over here, too. So, I mean, there's, there's still more going on. Um, but, I mean, there's still the fortress here. E-Web turret blasting off again. Getting some clone kills. It's shooting blue laser fire. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is. Well, I guess it, it's a, probably a Republic E-Web turret. Maybe re, uh, reprogrammed for droid use or something. Oh, there's more droids over here. And let's not forget, there's still droids over here too. Oh, oh, they're actually standing up for once. And they're dead. Incredible. There's still two more, I guess. <laughs> Look at this. Clones could get grenades up there, but more importantly, it'll be really easy for the droids to grenade down here. I don't know if they'll do that because the AI is not always the most intelligent. But that would be a goaded strat. They're, they're definitely not going to do it. <laughs> Look at these nincompoops shooting the wall. Incredible. Incredible. All right, these clones all died out here. Yikes. Hmm. I think we're going to have a pretty bad choke point death ratio over this way for the clones, I must say. I think many a clone will die here. Why don't we go ahead and time lapse again? Because the clones are right now just derping on the exterior. All right, well, the droids held on there for a very long time until that clone trooper came through and grenaded them. Now there's only two droids left alive there, but there's still like eight or nine? Not, no, like 12 droids up there. So, I mean, the clones have taken a bit of a beating here. They don't have a lot of soldiers left. We'll bring forward the ones they do just because they're not coming forward now. Come on. Come closer, please. And Mace Windu never came up, so... I don't know what his problem is, dude. I think they're getting like kind of stuck over here somehow. I I don't really know what's going on, but we'll try and kind of bring these guys forward. There's a lot on these cliff walls that just aren't supposed to be up there. <laughs> so we'll put them down, but it is kind of looking like a droid W here. It doesn't seem like the clones are gonna have this, but we'll, we'll see, I mean, it's kind of last hoorah for the clone troopers. We can go with fast motion here a little bit. Oh, these droids are still alive, by the way. <laughs> They're still vibing. They're still hanging in there. Oh, well, they get killed. Mace Windu uh, must have been glitched this whole time, but he's finally coming forward. Maybe that'll help the clones out a little bit, you know? Uh, getting a Jedi on the battlefield. Looks like they were grenading these guys. Do they really have Mace Windu voice lines in this mod now? Why have I never heard that? That's baller. Okay, Windu is in here. He gets up there, and he gets shot up and runs away. Oh, he kills those droids down there. I don't think he's going to be able to really kill these ones, though. Oh, lots of clones coming in, though. Lots of clones getting killed in various spots, but they kind of made it in a little bit, but nah, they're, they got butchered. Yeah, it's just Mace Windu and a few clones now. That's Clones are kind of going out sad. There's still droids over here, by the way, still, too. Yeah, clones going out sad here. I think this will be a droid W. Oh, little grenade. <laughs> Why don't we time lapse the end here? Because it could take quite a while, especially with Mace Windu derping around like that.
All right, boys. I think the clones are donezo here. Um, did Mace Windu die? I'm just sending the last of them in. Final charge! Um, I actually have no idea where Mace went. At all. Huh. Oh, wait. Here's lightsaber. Wait. Oh, there he is. Huh. <laughs> My boy, I think, got exploded finally. The droids end up with a W here. Uh, they've got all these troops up here with multitudes of kills between them. Uh, they've also got these droids over here. Oh, and this AAT is still alive. Fascinating. <laughs> all right. And there's just a few clones left. I gave clones ample opportunity to potentially win this thing. Red are dead clones. Yellow are dead droids. But at the end of the day... The droids do end up with a big fat W here. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.